Hello everyone. In my previous video, I have taught that the absorption of water by roots, what was the need and of course few technical terms and the rest I am going to discuss here. Number one is tonosity. When we talk about this one, we use following terms. Number one, hypotonic. Number second, hypertonic. And number third, isotonic. These terminologies are used with comparison of two solutions. As we know, the meaning of hypo is less. In Hindi, we can say come. Hyper, it is more. In Hindi, we can say jada. Iso. Iso means same. A jesa. Saman. It means that when we compare two different solutions, so in that condition, the concentration of one solution, consider we have two different containers and same amount of the solvent is here. This is solvent and solvent and now solute is added inside it. So solution is ready. When the amount of the solute is less, you can observe when the amount of the solute is less, that means the concentration of the solution is low. So the solution is to be termed as hypotonic. We can use the term less concentrated solution. When concentration of the solution because of too much of the solute is more, concentration of solution is more. In that condition, we use the term hypertonic and isotonic. When both the solution, that means when two solutions are taken into different containers and the solution is same in A and of course in B, then we use the term isotonic. Next term is there into the cell and we use the term that is turgor pressure. Number one, T-U-R-G-O-R, turgor pressure. Going to draw a cell. Keep it in your mind that this turgor pressure is there only into the plant cell. This type of pressure is not there into the animal cell because of the absence of cell wall. So this is cell wall. Inside this, there is cytoplasm as it is a plant cell. So a large cell vacuole is also there. Right now, talking about the target pressure. Inside the cell wall, there is plasma membrane. Now, this vacuole is also filled with the vacuolar sap. Nucleus is present. Now this cell, uh, this cell is fully turgid, T-U-R-G-I-D. This turgid condition as I have explained in my previous video, just for the reason I am telling you, when the cell is there in its maximum volume and fully turgid, filled with the vacuole, is completely filled with the water. In this condition, the whole cell content, all that material which is present inside the plasma membrane, will create pressure on the wall. So as this condition of the cell is the target, so this type of pressure, this pressure is termed as turgor pressure. And as we know that every action has a reaction in opposite direction, so opposite to it, the wall will create a pressure on this cell content and this pressure is termed as wall pressure. As again the wall pressure is there into the plant cell only. So the wall pressure and turgor pressure, these are two pressures which are a specific character of the plant cell only. Next, as we know that the movement of water is always there from 
lower concentration of solution towards a higher concentration of solution. So again we have two terms. Number one, plasmolysis. And second one, D plasmolysis. Now, when a cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, I repeat that the solution which is there outside is hypertonic and the solution inside the cell is hypotonic. So, this is hypotonic. As we know, that the movement of water always occurs from hypotonic solution to hypertonic solution. I am going to write the solution word. This is also solution. And mention it as A and this is B. In this condition, the movement of water will occur from A to B. It results into the shrinking of plasma membrane along with the cell content. That means the result will be like this one. This is the cell wall as it is a it is a rigid one, so there will be no change. So cell wall is there just like a frame, and the plasma membrane will shrink like this one. Nucleus size of the vacuole, which is bigger over here, will reduce, and this cell is to be termed as the process is termed as plasmolysis, and the cell is termed as plasmolyzed. This is the place where the hypertonic solution is to be present. That means that this place will not be weakened. Now this plasmolyzed cell, when it is placed in a distant water or in a hypotonic solution, that means the cell is in its plasmolyzed state. This is cell wall. Plasma membrane is little bit shrink like this one. Nucleus and vacuole almost to be disappeared. So this is termed as plasmolyzed cell. When it is placed in a hypotonic solution, hypotonic solution, in that condition and now it is there in the hypertonic condition, in that condition the water will enter inside the cell and the plasma membrane will again come in its original condition. So when any plasmolyzed cell is kept into the hypotonic solution, and it again come into tragic condition, then it is termed as, the process is termed as deplasmolysis and the cell is to be termed as a deplasmolyzed cell. Thank you.